Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another episode of my ear stretching series. This is episode 5, um, and it's going to be all about aftercare and how to take care of your nice little earlobes. So... Yeah, let's get started. So one of the first things you're going to want to do to take care of your earlobes is daily oil massages. Um, you can use anything that is organic, natural, there's no um, additives in it, no chemicals. Or My hair is making my neck really itchy. Um, sorry. Anyway, uh, as long as there's no additives and no chemicals in it, you are good to go. You can use um, vitamin E oil, which is what I use. You can use jojoba oil, coconut oil. Um, you can also use emu oil if you're not concerned about things being vegan. You can use emu oil. Um, for a fresh stretch, if you've got a little bit of discomfort or a little bit of redness, I know my ears got red um, because my earlobes got very red very quickly, or they do in general, I mean, um, you can use a saline solution on a Q-tip or like a tissue or something and just kind of like wrap it around your earlobe and that'll help like cool it down and reduce any of the redness and discomfort that you have. It'll help cool it down. Um, to avoid the smell that everyone who has stretched ears is very familiar with, and if someone, if you're dating somebody who can smell your ears, they might also be familiar with the smell. Um, yes, we all know the smell. The way to eliminate that smell is to clean them daily, clean your ears and clean your plugs daily. Um, I usually... Um, when I'm in the shower, I take my plugs out and I kind of like run water over the plugs and then I run water over my earlobes and kind of just like massage away any of the buildup that's there. It's um, like your skin produces a natural oil called sebum um, and that's what it is that's building up in your earlobe. So I kind of just let the water flow over my ear and I just kind of like massage it and get any buildup off. Thicken your earlobes up is if you are able, to, if you can sleep without them in, that'll also help thicken them up a little bit because they do shrink a little bit in your sleep. Sometimes they can close like an entire size. There are ways to train your ears so that you can sleep with them out. Um, I haven't done that yet. Um, I just kind of sleep with my plugs in. I just, I know, that's just what I prefer to do. Um, one day I will start sleeping with my uh, jewelry out, but until then. Totally comfortable sleeping with my plugs in. And in the winter, if you live up north in Pennsylvania or New York or Canada or something, it gets cold up here. So you have to keep your ears warm in the winter because if you don't, they can get frostbite, they'll rot and they'll fall off and they'll turn like black and they'll just be like, bye bye earlobe. So you have to keep them warm. Um, if your ears are large, you can use um, scarves. You can also use hats with little like flappy things on them. Um, or earmuffs, if you still have like a normal sized ear, if you're at like small sizes, you can put earmuffs. Or if you have larger sizes and you're able to wrap them around your ear, you can do it like that and then put earmuffs and then your ears will stay nice and toasty. So, for me, really, um, since my ears haven't been in the cold that much because I didn't really do much this winter or leave my house this winter, um, I still have yet to find a way that will benefit me because I'm really not like a hat with the flaps kind of person but I do like scarves so maybe I can just like or like hoods I could probably just like put hoods up or something I don't know um but also wearing um jewelry like wood um if you wear something like steel or stone or something you'll you'll get um the cold will like be trapped in your plug and your earlobes will get colder really more quickly um so I have wood plugs and acrylic plugs. Um, the flare is a little bit too big on those acrylic plugs though, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to wear them anytime soon, um, nor do I really want to. I really just have like acrylic and wood for the winter, so um, yeah. So wearing something that isn't steel or stones or glass or anything is all good. Um, just usually just wood will help keep your ears a little bit warmer. Or if you can, if you're not um, sensitive to silicone, you can also um, <clears throat> wear silicone plugs also because that'll also help that, help it, um, 
and stay warm. I think that's all for aftercare, so, um, yeah, thank you for watching, subscribe if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!